I'm Ron Mark. And I'm Kim Levin. People in several Lancaster County communities are finding dead birds. A neighborhood that invites birds in wants to know what wiped hundreds of them out. I think he was coming out maybe to get the newspaper and uh, he thought, well, he stepped on something. He thought it was a leaf. The dead birds lined Dana Shannon's sidewalk and driveway on Magnolia Drive in Leola. Just kind of grossed out. Now they're in her backyard. This one here was certainly uh, unusual. Uh, it's a significant event. In this neighborhood, one, two, three. There are just as many dead birds. Four, five. If not more. I'm sure if we walk around here, we're going to find more dead birds. The storm that rolled through the inland northwest last night did more damage than just knock down some trees and power lines. It killed eight head of cattle. Three cows and four calves on Jim Hoffman's pasture near Harrington were hit by lightning, killing them instantly. Hoffman says that he's been ranching for decades. He's never seen anything like it. I assess what um, sort of state they were in and, and, and if they could be approached. I didn't know, I'm not knowing anything about dolphins, whether or not. Um, they'd be aggressive or, or you know, if they could do you any harm she was sort of um, came close to them. You've got to try and picture the scene. You've got the sort of um, the sea coming in in waves um, every few seconds. I want to begin with the massive wall of water and the now deadly mudslide in Southern California, stranding thousands in just an instant. Overnight, flash flooding sending a river of mud and debris through Southern California, swallowing cars, campers, and vans. It's unbelievable. Thunderstorms brought flash floods as much as four inches falling in one hour, causing a wall of debris to cut off access to two mountain towns, leaving at least 2,000 stranded. In one terrifying moment, this Seattle man says he was struck by lightning. Uh, oh, wow. Lightning also struck this tree in Washington, starting another fire. More lightning was spotted across Arizona overnight. But this is the worst we've had since at least 1969. That water is desperately needed elsewhere in the state. More than a dozen fires currently burning in northern and central California. Extreme weather in the western United States has resulted in many landslides and wildfires this year up and down the west coast. Heavy rains behind a landslide in North Salt Lake, Utah. One home's destroyed, a dozen others around it have been evacuated because the rain-soaked land beneath started giving way overnight. The storm front earlier Monday led to flash flooding in Nevada that shut down roads near Las Vegas Look out! Get out! and created a near tragic scene when a wall of water trapped an elderly couple inside their Prius. Was it the only extreme weather event yesterday? The National Weather Service confirms a rare tornado touched down in Clark County. This is extremely rare. I know, it seems hard to believe. Officials say that it was on the ground for about 30 seconds near Nelson's Landing. Well, Hawaii braces for two hurricanes in the Pacific Ocean, but they first dealt with an earthquake. The day began with a magnitude 4.5 earthquake. There were no injuries or damage, but the day will end with the first of two hurricanes, a rare double threat. Hawaii is standing up to the biggest storm to hit the islands in 22 years. Tropical storm Isel weakened as it approached landfall, but heavy rain is causing some flash flooding. Even though Isel has been downgraded to a tropical storm, she's still very much a force to be reckoned with. We're getting gusts in the area that are very consistent, even though their strength is rather unexpected. Very heavy winds, very heavy rains. That said, there is a flood advisory that's been issued for the entire island. 
flooding emergency hitting several states this evening. These pictures coming in from Detroit. Torrential rains, two people have died, one woman in her basement, another in her car. Flash floods swallowing parts of the Northeast, forcing land to give way near Pittsburgh. Almost a half foot of rain falling, the water rising to the clearance under highways. Only the tops of cars visible from above. Today, mud caked and still underwater. Land giving way, highways crumbling parts of southeast Michigan in a state of emergency. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. This is not what you expect to see at your local strip mall. A sinkhole opening up after extreme flooding here. So many people across this nation feeling Mother Nature's fury. It's that dangerous flooding from some very potent storms that have dumped more than a foot of rain in some parts of the East Coast. Take a look at this. That's the Southern State Parkway in Nassau County. Kearney, Nebraska. This was a Good Samaritan hospital. The cafeteria here, just to show you the sheer force of these flooding waters just raced through when the doors couldn't handle it anymore. And we were seeing it all over as people were being rescued. And it's not just the East Coast, it's the West Coast too. It's horrible. I've never seen anything like this. Well, it looks like a storm of epic proportions. It's something we really don't see here in Alabama. But take a look at this. You're looking at a huge storm known as a haboob. That's Eastern Washington State you're looking at. Now, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, they can pack winds up to 60 miles an hour and they stir up all that dust and sand. It, it's ominous looking. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a terrifying look. It's like something you'd see out of a sci-fi movie. This amazing video of a bolt of lightning hitting right in front of a woman. This is at a hotel in Florida over the weekend. No, she didn't expect this. I got, I got that first one. Yeah, and you got the second one, too. It was taken at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach and posted on Facebook, and obviously it's going to go viral here. The woman um, is frighteningly close to the lightning strike, but even so, was not injured, thankfully. If you thought our uh, Maryland summer was cool, try living in Scotland right now. The country is on track to see the coldest August spell in 95 years. Even the mountains of Scotland may see some snow. That's expected for the first time in almost a hundred years. A flash of light and a loud boom have a lot of people asking, what was that? Late last night, a massive fireball lit up Vancouver's skies. CTV's John Woodward went to find out what many people witnessed. Something like this was spotted around 10 o'clock last night, high over Vancouver. A greenish colored streak that split into two uh, and uh, spread across the sky and they just completely burnt out. Seen as far away as Vancouver Island. Many people all over the lower mainland took to Twitter to say they saw the meteor. Though it happened so fast, no one had time to pull out a camera. I feel very fortunate to have seen what we saw. This, I think it was a once in a lifetime kind of event. Mexico. This crack stretches nearly two-thirds of a mile and measures close to 30 feet deep and more than 15 feet wide across in some spots. This is in the rural area, 50 miles west of the city of Hermosillo in the state of Sonora. While some believe seismic activity is to blame, others point to an underground stream that eroded the ground above it. Now, this incredible video was captured by a drone. We've had just about every kind of extreme weather in the past 24 hours. Half a foot of rain fell in the Midwest in Washington state. Mudslides damaged homes and covered highways. In this country, we're keeping an eye on a triple threat of severe weather threatening millions as we head into the weekend. Torrential downpours swept through a good swath of the country today, causing major flooding in the Midwest. And in the South, extreme heat and severe storms with damaging winds have several states on alert. Quick moving storms dumped nearly 10 inches of heavy rain on parts of the Midwest early this morning. Stretches of highway under waist deep water had to be closed as cars were nearly swept away. In Indiana, dozens of drivers made wrong turns into treacherous waters. Those flooded roads also made it difficult for firefighters to get to a burning building. Flooding is not just a problem in the Midwest. From upstate New York to western Pennsylvania, creeks unexpectedly overflowed into homes. We've been here for 25 years, and this is the worst we've had. Across the country in Washington state, heavy rains triggered mudslides, which blocked highways, stranding some motorists overnight. In Arizona and Southern California, it was the lack of moisture and strong wind that created a blinding dust storm. 
and in the south, brutal triple-digit temperatures are a concern heading into this weekend. The fire captain in the city of Napa, California, says it was the worst shaking he has ever experienced. The quake hit in the dead of night, setting off raging fires like this one, sending bottles flying off the shelves in the heart of wine country. Look at this surveillance video. Cameras rolling during the quake itself, vehicles shaking as debris falls all around. And there it is on the map, the magnitude 6.0 quake hitting just north of San Francisco. The governor has declared a state of emergency tonight. 3.20 a.m. Sunday, the quake strikes in the dead of night. The earth-shattering moment caught on surveillance video shaking people out of bed. I woke up and thought, oh my God, that's, this is it. You know, this is the big one. These store shelves thrashed around before the power goes out. Seconds later, the shaking is over, but the chaos has just begun. The monster 6.0 quake, the worst to hit the Bay Area in 25 years. Fires rage in the scenic tourist town of Napa. More than a dozen buildings in the historic downtown ravaged. Shattered glass, cars buried in brick, and roads ripped wide open. Control tower windows at Napa County Airport completely blown out. And this clock frozen in time. After this morning's earthquake in Napa, California, concerns tonight about another earthquake, a magnitude 7.0 earthquake that struck just a short time ago in Peru. Chad, what do you say? Any tie between a quake in Northern California and one south of there in Peru and South America? You know, Jim, if the Northern California quake was much bigger, then I would say yes, there's a potential that there could be some teleconnection but likely not here with a 6-0 and Peru down as a 7-0. Let's uh, turn to Central America, which has been in the grip of one of the worst droughts in decades. The uh, government of Guatemala has actually declared a state of emergency as a result of the prolonged drought the country has been suffering. More than 200,000 families have now been affected as crops have failed across the country. And uh, Guatemala is not alone in its plight. Drought has also been affecting neighboring uh, Honduras, El Salvador and uh, nearby Nicaragua. Iceland continues to prepare this morning for a possible volcano eruption. The volcano buried deep under one of Europe's largest glaciers is rumbling to life. Since August 16th, more than 3,000 tremors per minute have led to more than 2,600 earthquakes. And just this morning, just this morning, a 5.7 earthquake rumbled across the glacier. And so scientists are very nervous. mystery this morning. Good morning everyone. Residents in Harrisburg are still trying to figure out exactly what those flashing lights are. Aliens? A drone maybe? Well even the local police department does not have an answer. Oh I am scared to death now. It's the video that's sparking rumors of extraterrestrial life. I thought it was a plane until I realized it wasn't moving and I watched it for about 20 minutes. Wilkerson called 911. Look at that, look at that, look at that. But even police were dumbfounded. He went there and apparently he saw them too. So he called his sergeant and his corporal to come to verify what he was seeing. So police called the National Guard Training Center and the local airports to find out if they could account for any aircraft activity in the area. They couldn't. This is unbelievable. This isn't the first UFO sighting in recent weeks. In July, this questionable object was spotted as firefighters battled a wildfire in Canada. And just two weeks ago, these photos were posted all over Twitter, convincing many that the illuminated round disc was something extraterrestrial. Back in Pennsylvania, Wilkerson says she's convinced these lights prove we're not alone. Well, evacuations are underway this afternoon in Papua New Guinea after a volcano erupted. Woke well, up this morning, and then she blows. Not something you see every day, is it? People who live in nearby towns say there is about a half an inch of ash on the ground. An Australian airline made some minor adjustments as well to flight paths between Sydney and Asia. Look at that. It has been another day of monster waves and dangerous rip currents on both parts of both coasts in this country. Two powerful storms are responsible. 
Hurricane Cristobal in the Atlantic and Tropical Storm Marie in the Pacific. In Southern California, the surf hasn't been this big in nearly 20 years, drawing big wave surfers and huge crowds. The pounding surf also caused this damage to a Catalina Island dry dock and ripped apart a lifeguard building that's in Malibu Landmark. We begin with two powerful storms far from land that are still managing to pose a deadly double threat on beaches along the west and east coasts of the United States tonight, killing at least three people so far. Tropical Storm Marie is churning in the Pacific. The monster storm generating incredible waves hundreds of miles away. Marie is west of the southern tip of Baja now throwing a big south swell up into our area in some of the highest wave conditions we've seen in years. It sounded like a thunderstorm, like if it was rain, like if it was uh, lightning, thundering. Uh, that's how powerful, because you could feel the ground, you could feel it. Tonight from Los Angeles to Jacksonville, Florida. First at five, rough surf and red flag. I was filming over my shoulder, like over the sky, and uh, and it just lightning going off everywhere, and, uh, and coming out here in summer, I was like, gosh, I just hope for lightning thunderstorms. Cece Weske is visiting her mom, Stephanie, in Hayden, Idaho. I've always been ob just obsessed with rain and thunder and lightning. And on Tuesday night, she got her wish. It was the most unexpected thing that's, I think, ever happened to me. It's my girl on the street videoing the lightning. Her video shows what appears to be a bolt of lightning hitting her mom. It sounds like somebody shot a gun right here. Well, some residents in Ponca City say they were recently treated to an amazing sight in the sky. It happened as that city prepared to say farewell to a landmark by watching one final movie at the airline drive-in. Well, Kevin, one of those moviegoers says she was able to capture a picture of God in the clouds, and she says that picture has changed her life forever. Mandy Molman says God made his appearance, not on the big screen, but as a face in the clouds over her daughter's shoulder. And she says there's proof in this picture. I just thought it was neat and ironic, God making his appearance to say that he is not dead, that he is very much alive. 